Hey guys, this is Ron from Function Build Aquatics. This is my Beta Embellus. Now this guy started as a pair, uh, male and female, that I picked up from one of my favorite shops before it went out of business up in North Jersey called Shark Aquarium. And I got these guys for a song and a dance. I mean, the, basically the owner just said, hey, Ron, you're the only one who knows what these are in, in, their, in our shop, so just take them. And I took a pair that he had, and unfortunately the female jumped out of my 40 riparium she jumped out of a six inch by six inch space uh, that's on the left hand side she found it and she leaped now this is the male who's left by himself in this tank now I know it's time for him to come out of here because he needs to be in a, in a, in a tank where I can dedicate more of his care and feeding he's in a tank with a, a highly competitive uh, group of fish both loaches garamis and uh, barbs um, and rasboras, I should say. And they're just way too competitive when it comes to feeding in his tank and he just doesn't get his uh, fair share. So I have to constantly make sure he gets food directly to him. Now this is the 40 gallon riparium. And this tank has 12 different types of, well, it's 12 loaches in his tank overall. That's the lighting, which currently is the uh, Kessel Amazon Sun, non-adjustable about 6,500, 6,700 Kelvin range. Most of the plants in this tank are low light species, so the light in this tank is a, a bit overkill. But I have to also light the plants that are in the basket, which are the terrestrial plants, which have their roots directly in the water column. Um, the basket is made of a uh, just your standard household plastic, uh, plastic planter that I cut a hole out of the bottom and put some mesh grating and uh, also put some clay balls in there for substrate. And then I planted the plants in the clay balls and submerged that inside the aquarium, hanging from hooks along the back. This allows the roots from the terrestrial plants to actually have access to the water column and pull out the nutrients out of the tank and also help in, in lowering, you know, basically the nitrates, the nitrites, and, and, uh, and, and you know, consume some of the phosphates that are in the system. The tank itself, its substrate consists of a dirt organic substrate and it's capped with play box sand that is a silicate sand and I've been fighting different algae blooms and I'm assuming that with my water testing that I've done that silicates are the only thing I haven't tested for and they must be leaching from the sand and creating the algae bloom I have in the tank. And I've been fighting that with water changes and cleaning it. Um, and unfortunately, the most of the fish in this tank are, are Asian endemic species, so I have no algae eaters in this tank that will actually rasp at the rocks and the wood to remove the different types of algae. So this is a close-up view of that system and the lighting. And this is the 40-gallon riparium. At some point, I'm going to let this video just ride out so you can enjoy some of the sights of it. Um, but like I said before, uh, this tank has come a long way. It's been running for about... Um, Close, close to a year and a half. So it'll be two years this coming fall. Thank you very much and hope you enjoy Functional Aquatics.